Yes, there is just this urge to tear this thing apart. Um, this ring here is not a cock ring. It is to hold the camera in there so that you don't scratch the lens. I'm going to utilize that so that it doesn't roll off the table when I play around. I thought about having like a foam piece to hold it, but that is not as good as the orig original ring, the rubber ring that came with the camera. Now, thanks to the fish, we know now that we have to open on the bottom two screws first. Let me zoom in. And just to clarify this, I had this open already. Right? This is my second time that I opened this because I was so stupid to have the camera in time-lapse mode as I recorded it for the first time. So now we do it again and that means it's a little easier to pry that thing off here. Two screws. Phillips. There's a the dog hair on there. Nice. So I broke the little thing off here at the top. There was a little like uh, hook in there. A little clip that broke off. And then my tape was not all the way around. The um, serial number was like right in the middle there, like squished up. It was weird. So those two we take out, and then let me sharpen this a little. There we go, with a small, very small Phillips. I thought about speeding this up, but no, this is way too good to be true. And I can tell you up front, the camera will survive this, so I'm gonna put this back together in working order. It's w it will be almost mint condition. Almost though. Because it gets a little hairy there towards the end. Alright. So what I found out is you have to take this aluminum ring off. So I'm gonna get closer. And you see the damage I did to it already. Alright, so this is the same as uh, in the old Gear 360. That is an aluminum ring, and that ring has to be screwed off like uh, the top of a Pepsi bottle. You see all the scratches? Yeah, that was me with my tool. So this has to be turned, and if your fingers are not strong enough, or if they slip in, then what are you going to do? So I think uh, watchmakers, clockmakers have like special tools for that kind of thing. I am a plumber. So I use plumbing tools, and they leave marks. That's just how that is. So I loosen it a little, and then I try to do this with my fingers. We only have to remove the one where the record button is on the camera, because the other one we can't remove anyway so easy. There. And then in here, um, there's a thread in there. And um, there we have three Phillips screws. I'm going to take those off too. So when you do this, you have to be careful that you don't lose them. They're kind of wedged in a little bit there. And um, when you use any tools to take them off, make sure they don't fly away. I had this happen, so it takes me like 10 minutes to find them again here. Like this tool that I have here, you squeeze a little too hard and those things pop off and fly who knows where. So it's best to grab them from the side. I said from the side, not from the bottom. There you go. There from this side, yeah, there like that. And the last one left here. So the lens doesn't seem to be uh, out of plastic, I think it's glass. So now you have to get the whole thing open. Oh, first you need to remove the SD card, right? That thing has to come out. Otherwise we can't remove the upper part. Only the upper part comes off. It's a kind of like a, a, a casket, this whole thing. You will be surprised. So, there again, prying this open, not so easy. The upper part comes off button and display stays in so 
I'm just gonna try to go in there, that doesn't work. I tried here, that was not easy. And then what I did, I tried by hand, like this, pulling, doesn't work. So then I went here in the middle and really give it a tug. That really helped. There we go, see? It's not that difficult. And so what happens then, you can take the upper part off. Well, there is no wires, no nothing. Take that away. And that's how the beauty looks like inside. It's full. Rubber stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show this thing around a little. I zoom in as close as I can so that you guys can see how that thing looks like inside. And if you would go any further taking it apart, I do think um, there's a bunch of Phillips screws on here. If you remove those, that you could take half of the stuff off. I'm not sure what those flatband cables say to this. You probably have to disconnect some. And the lens, we can look at the lens here. I think it's glued in. And the aluminum ring is holding it in place as safety. But I'm almost certain if you would pry the lens off there with the screwdriver, that it would come out. So there is hope for a replacement lens, I tell you. And I don't know if the old 360 and this one has the same lens. I have never seen uh, the previous 360, Gear 360, how that looks like. So if that is the same size of lens, then you're probably able to replace that. So, and then I zoom in close up here and turn it around for you to look at stuff. If you're interested. Behind here must be the battery somewhere. Phillips screws. The display. And the record button. And then here the lens with Phillips screws around. Wow, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. And hey, if you stay, you can watch me how I put it together. It's not difficult, so basically the same way you took it apart, you put it back together. Get that little record button back in place. And then... Yeah, what can I say? We put it back together, so I'm going to play some music here and then see what you make of it.